Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in men and women today. But this is not new news to you. What might be news is that cholesterol is one of the most inaccurate ways of measuring your risk of cardiovascular disease. Yes, that is what we use as our go-to test to see if we are at risk for heart disease. These are the startling facts I share with my private nutrition clients to ensure that they don't have this false hope that everything is great with their heart because their cholesterol test says so. What I'm going to share with you is why cholesterol tests are not what we should be using to evaluate our risk for heart disease risk. Did you know that one out of every four deaths in America is related to heart disease? That means between you and three people you know, statistically, one of you will die from a cardiovascular related condition. By now you may be asking how to prevent becoming the next heart disease statistics. Symptoms won't tell you a thing. There are virtually no symptoms of high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, or coronary artery disease. In fact, in one of three people, sudden death is the first sign of heart disease. According to studies, 50% of people who have had a heart attack had normal total cholesterol levels. Even worse, additional studies show that 75% of heart attack victims had low LDL, or what's considered bad cholesterol levels. With numbers like that, testing cholesterol levels is basically a waste of time and money. Fortunately, there are better lab tests to evaluate your risk of becoming a statistic. However, your doctor has likely not heard of all these tests and you'll have to request them. If this is something that is of concern to you that I can go into detail on each of the five blood tests you should request. Click the button right now to go to the page where you can request my report that lists out each of the five blood tests and why they are more effective at measuring heart disease risk than a cholesterol test. When you click that button, you'll be able to fill in your email address so we can send you this report. One of these tests can actually tell you if you have an inherited risk factor for heart disease. Click the button now to learn which test you need to ask your doctor to order.